Jim disliked John Densmore so much, according to Ray, that he'd wanted to fire him back in 1967. The other doors were heads, pot smokers, who didn't hang out with Jim in the bars he frequented. Jim couldn't take the doors anywhere. They didn't drink. Ray was pompous and boring. Robbie shrewd with his mouth open. Densmore complained all the time. Jim now arrived at the gig separately and with his own entourage and left the same way after the show. The atmosphere in the Doors dressing room had become unusually sullen and morose. The Doors before a show looked like a combat platoon before an assault, wondering who would die that day. The feelings were mutual, by the way. Densmore despised Jim's lunacy and monumental selfishness and was generally terrified of having to depend on someone he thought was crazy. Robbie, Densmore claims, also grew to dislike Jim intensely and began to think of his future with the Doors as a day-to-day -day thing. So Jim was ripe for the plucking. It could be the Jim Morrison show. He later said that another record company offered him 